I'm Guilford Maine in the uh, homecoming festivities here. Right now, the Pirates, they lead two to nothing over the Lee Academy Pandas. My name's Zach White. I'm joined by multiple special guests here, but um, first we have Coach Miranda. Coach, so we understand that you are the coach of the soccer team here, and uh, you guys didn't have your traditional um, homecoming game as we all wish you could have had today. But kind of talk about how the community and what it was like you know, rallying around and having still an opportunity to get the girls out there and play in a really fun type of setting. What was that like? It, w it was great. We uh, found out on Wednesday that we weren't going to be able to play for a regular homecoming game. And we were able to pull together, I, I want to say 15, maybe 20, 20 alumni that were able to come and play an alumni game with us today. And it was a good time. When you think about community, and that's kind of a lot of what homecoming ends up being, is about the community and the everyone coming back together around these high school athletes and around sports in general. Um, what does it say about this local community that you had that many people interested in making sure that these players had an opportunity to be out there and to be part of the homecoming festivities? What does it say about your alumni and the community as a whole? It, it means that we're really, it's a big family around here. Uh, we had actually a lot of players or a lot of alumni that were out of state are unavailable this weekend and I think if give if we were given more time we would have had a lot more uh, alumni show up and it just means that they're it's it's deeply rooted in who we are that we've come through Piscataquis Community High School. It's truly a great area I mean I grew up local in the Dexter area so kind of understanding what this general community and area is like it's, it's truly special and homecoming always an exciting part of the year. Yeah, well, we have multiple guests that are going to be joining us. Which one of the athletes wants to be the first to join us here at halftime? Or you all can come up as well. We, we can, can hand it off mic. to my kid first. Okay. Here we go. All right. Welcome, Hope. Yes. All right. Just We just met, so I'm trying to get all the names down. So, Hope, I just talked to Coach for a little bit there and talking about homecoming. And we know that you guys didn't get to have that traditional game. And yeah. we all wish you did. But from the athlete side, when you get the news that you're not having that homecoming game in the traditional way, what was your initial mindset like when you found that out? Honestly, at first I was a little disappointed we weren't going to have a traditional homecoming game. But then we had an alumni game, and it was it was still fun. So it was all right. What's your favorite part about homecoming? Is it is it the parade? Is it anything you do at school? Is it the game itself? What's your favorite part? Uh, probably Spirit Week at school. Is dressing up is my favorite. What what did you, what was Spirit Week? Just give um, me the rundown of. We had Spirit Week. Uh, pajama day on Monday. It's a good day. Um, what was Tuesday? Well, we didn't help you. Color day. Okay. Wednesday was Wacky Wednesday. Thursday was theme, and then Friday was Spirit Day. That's awesome. Yeah. That was really fun. And then what does it mean to you as an athlete to see so many people coming out and showing support and the alumni game itself and having all those people come out and support? What does it mean to you to have the community, you know, back you like this? It's great. I love I love how close our community is and how um, how they cheer for us, like, everywhere. We have fans coming to Mil games in Millinocket and everywhere. It's great. No, well, thank you so much. And who wants to go next? Because I want to make sure we get everybody. All right, stepping up. I, I, I should. I should. I forgot. What's your name again? Brooklyn. I was going to say, no, you're Braylin. Braylin. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm trying. All right, so similar questions. I mean, we obviously know that what happened with the game, but just from a homecoming perspective, what is your favorite part of homecoming? My favorite part's also Spirit Week and probably the game because a lot of more people come because it's homecoming, and it just, like, it's a lot better. Yeah. How about the lights? And, and have you guys had an opportunity to play under the lights here? What's yes, that like for you guys? so much better. I feel like we all play better under the lights just because it's more, like, exciting yeah. and stuff and way better. So what's, what was the float? Was there? Did you guys do a float for the parade, or what was that like? Yeah, we had a soccer float. We had, like, a huge, huge float, like, bigger than anyone else's, and uh, we decorated with balloons, everything. We had music. We dressed up as frat boys. <laughs> it was really nice. <laughs> All right, it was bigger than everybody else's, if you're listening at home. <laughs> um, so now that you get into tonight's game, um, what are you seeing out there in the first half from the Pirates? I mean, they're playing pretty well. They're doing good. Um, our defense scored, which is pretty crazy. Noah's doing good in goal. They're all doing pretty good. They are. Communication, indeed. they talk a lot. And you were nervous, but you did pretty good up here. <laughs> you did a good job. All right, final guest coming up now. All right, so I've asked I've asked everybody now. I might as well ask you what, <laughs> what's been what's been your favorite part of homecoming so far. Um, so I think that like the game is my favorite part because I 
you know, we work hard all season to play in this homecoming game. And even though, that, like, we did not play, like, our traditional one, like, we still, like, went out there. And we only lost by one by the alumni. And the alumni are pretty good. <laughs> so to, um, you know, have that hard work and to see all those girls, like, excited and, you know, like, we get to wear, like, special pink shirts and special pink socks, like, that just, like, makes me happy. And to see us, like, come out here as a team, like, and we play and we all have fun and we all laugh and we all smile, that's my favorite part of homecoming, I think. Well, that was a great answer. And <laughs> I can you. say confidently as both someone who does this side of things but also is just a fan of the game, you folks are the reason that all these people come out to support you guys. So we can't thank you enough for all the hard work Coach, you're included in this. <laughs> All the hard work you and your teammates put in um, night in, night out. Not just homecoming weekend. Homecoming is obviously the celebration. But uh, big shout out to you as the athletes in what you do. And that's why the people come home. And that's why the people are here. It's, it's pretty special. Thank you. That was really good. All I right. like that answer. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Hey, you <laughs> did great. And we did it. Uh, okay. We're going to take a